In this video, I'm going to teach you how to quickly apply the chain rule multiple times using a technique that I like to call peeling the onion. Using this technique, you'll be able to quickly differentiate complicated functions. And contrary to what the name suggests, this technique, peeling the onion, is not going to make you cry. Actually, it's going to do the opposite. You're going to be able to do these kinds of complicated derivatives without crying, like you would usually do if you had to write out the chain rule over and over and over again. Now, before we get into this technique of peeling the onion, though, let's recap what the chain rule is, since peeling the onion is ultimately just a method to speed up the chain rule. The chain rule says that if we have some expression, say x squared plus 1 to the 10th power, and we want to differentiate that expression, then we can make it simpler by lumping up some of these terms into another variable, say u. So the whole expression simplifies, it's just u to the 10th, and that's what we want to take the derivative of, and we can do that just like normal using the power rule, but the only catch is that we have to multiply by du dx afterwards. But that's okay because taking the derivative of u is a lot simpler. u is just x squared plus 1, so we can sub that back into the expression, and the derivative of x squared plus 1 is just 2x. And there we have it. That's our derivative. But, you know, this was a very simple example. And if we want to differentiate a more complicated expression, like sine of x squared plus 1 to the 10th power, then we might need to apply the chain rule multiple times, and you'll see how this gets kind of complicated. We start out the same way by lumping up some terms into u, so then it's just the derivative of u to the 10th that we want to find. And just like last time, we apply the power rule, and then the catch is that we have to multiply by du dx. So we substitute back in for u, but then we still run into some trouble when we try to differentiate sine of x squared plus 1. So we can just apply the chain rule again, lump up that x squared into a single variable, say w, and then the derivative simplifies. It's just the derivative of sine of w plus 1, which we can actually compute. Derivative of sine is cosine, and derivative of 1 is 0. But of course the same catch applies, we still have to multiply by dw dx. Thankfully w is pretty simple, it's just x squared, so we sub that in, and the derivative of x squared is just 2x. And there we've got it but only after a fair amount of blood, sweat, and tears. And if you thought this was bad, then imagine how painful it would be to differentiate an expression which required, say, five iterations of the chain rule. Here we only had two. We did chain rule with u and with w. So imagine if we had to do this for three more iterations. That'd be more than twice the amount of work we did here. Now this is where the technique of peeling the onion comes to make life a whole lot easier. Let's look at that same expression, sine of x squared plus 1 to the 10th, but this time let's think of it in terms of layers. The power of 10 is the outermost layer, and then the next layer, the middle layer, will be the sine plus 1, and then the third layer, the innermost layer, will be the x squared. Now when we differentiate this, what we do is we start with the outer layer and we differentiate that, and then the rest of the stuff that we fill in, we have to differentiate in the same way. Now when we evaluate this derivative here, again we're just looking at the outermost layer. But now we've already peeled off one layer, so it's just the sine plus 1 that we want to differentiate. It's just cosine, and then we fill in the next layer, the x squared, and that's what we have to differentiate now. And that's pretty straightforward, it's just 2x. And there we go, same answer as before, but a lot less work. And once you practice this peeling the onion technique a couple times, you'll get to the stage where you can do this all in one step. First differentiate the outer layer, that was the 10th power here, and that went to 10 times the inner stuff to the 9th power. And then we take the derivative of the next layer, the next layer is the sine plus 1, derivative of that is just cosine, and then fill in the inner stuff. And then the final layer is just the x squared, and the derivative of that is 2x. It's like we're peeling an onion one layer at a time. And now that we see how peeling the onion works on a three-layer onion, Let's try something crazy. You know that expression at the very beginning of the video that had an extraordinarily long derivative? Well, let's differentiate it. We'll do this by peeling the onion, and really it's just going to take a single step of work. Now this expression is a little sneaky, because the sine squared actually means take the square after you take the sine. So the outermost layer is really the squared, and then after that is the sine, and after that the x plus e to some power, and the next layer is in the power of e, it's the tangent, 
And I'm running out of colors because this is a lot of layers, so I'm just going to use red again. And the final layer, the innermost layer, is the 3x inside of the tangent. So let's go ahead and peel this onion. The first step is to peel the outer layer, the squared. And for that we just use the power rule. We fill in the inner layers, and then peel the next layer, which is the sine. Derivative of sine is cosine. We continue on peeling the next layer, which is the x plus e to some power. x is easy to differentiate, that's just 1. e to some power just stays e to some power. And because the next layer is entirely in the power of e, it's only the e that gets multiplied by the derivative. So we're going to multiply by something inside of the parentheses here. And that something that we multiply will be the result of peeling the next layer. The next layer is the tangent and derivative of tangent is secant squared. Then inside of that is the 3x. This is our final layer. The derivative of 3x is just 3. And there we go. We've got it. That's the derivative.